Hey everyone, how's it going? I am Zerikon and I am back once again. Back when I started reading manga, I saw a series in my local library called Hunter x Hunter. I took a few volumes home with me and gave them a shot. By the time I reached volume 2, however, I thought the books were boring and returned them all the following week when I went back to the library. Fast forward to this past July. There was a sale on a bunch of manga including Hunter x Hunter. I remember not caring for it, but I was willing to give the series another try, especially since the books were on sale for a very good price. After reading two volumes, the same number that I had read when I was younger, I asked myself, why didn't I like this? I was enjoying what I read so far and went ahead and ordered more volumes so I could continue reading. I was even disappointed that volume 4 was on back order, so I had to wait for about a month before I could continue where I left off. Seriously, I'm really enjoying this. This feels like a shonen manga that deviates from being the typical shonen. Even though Gon is the main character, everyone else is getting equal time in the limelight. Well, except for Leorio, at least so far. They have their own arcs and stories that run parallel with Gon's that make me just as invested in them as well as his. I'm even interested in antagonistic organizations like the Zodic family, the Mafia, and the Phantom Troop. Uh, mild spoilers by the way. With Gon, it's interesting how he's pretty much outclassed not long into the story. There are other applicants in the Hunter exams who can beat him through skill, speed, stealth, and combat. Even going into the Heavens Arena arc, him learning Nen gave him a greater edge, but he's still green. Personally, I like that this keeps him as someone who still is on a path to becoming a better Hunter, because there are so many larger fish out there. Unlike a shonen protagonist who becomes the strongest character by the end of the arc, because the story needs him to be, Gon isn't going to be the strongest character, and that's perfectly fine. Adding one to that, I really love that the fights are more about strategy than brute strength and raw power. Don't get me wrong, Hunter Exam Killua was sweeping nearly every fight he was in, but to be successful, the characters had to use their brains. Even a powerhouse like Hisoka isn't exempt. He got injured during the exam and had to recover. He also could have gotten himself killed during a fight in the Heaven's Arena arc if his bluff didn't work. Sure. If a character plays an important role, a writer isn't likely to just have them killed, but it does show that they can slip up and fail if they aren't vigilant. That helps maintain the tension of battles. I'm really looking forward to where the series goes on from here. As of this video, I've only gotten to Volume 9, which is in the York New City arc, where Kurapika is fighting Uvogin. Seeing what he's done both as a character and with his skills has been great to read, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what he does in future volumes, which I'll be ordering this weekend. Again, I'm having a blast with this series, and I hope that I continue to do so. I don't know what this future brings for it, both what's been released already and what's still being worked on by Yoshihiro Tagashi. I'm glad that I'm finally enjoying and appreciating this work that many fans have been enjoying for a long time. I just wish that it didn't take me so long to do so. As of now, I probably would say that Hunter x Hunter has dethroned Berserk as my favorite manga, but that was by no means an easy win. But this has set itself up to be an excellent story with some fantastic characters that keep me coming back for more. But that will do it for today. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. I appreciate it. Let me know if you've read or watched Hunter x Hunter and your thoughts on it so far. Also, let me know about any possible series that you quit only to come back later on and enjoy. So until next time everyone, I am Zerakhan signing off. Have a good one.